Today we are going to talk about some of the basic concepts and measures of in demography. Uh, and they are uh, basically starting, I'm starting with the age sex distribution of a population, which basically what it means that age and sex are the two most important demographic variables and they influence all the demographic ind indicators. Whenever you are, one is calculating any of the indicators which pertains to population, they must take into account age and sex distribution of the population. Now the first of them is the age dependency ratio as shown in this slide. The age dependency ratio is the ratio of persons in the dependent ages, generally under age 50 over age 60 in a developing country to those in the economically productive ages, which is 15 to 60 in a population. Uh, so one is, as long as you have these two numbers, you can calculate a ratio that how many people are dependent on the others. Uh, then there is sex ratio. As shown in this slide, the sex ratio is the ratio of males to females in a given population, usually expressed as a number of males for every 100 females. Sex ratio then, in simply, it equals number of males divided by number of females, and then you can multiply it by 100. What it tells you that in, in a population, how many males are there for per 100 females. For example, in Pakistan, in the last census in 1998, there were 108 males per 100 females. That means there are more males than females. That is. Uh, not unusual, but yes, it's uh, usual for developing countries, but in many developed countries, there are more males, there are more females than males, because usually males in developed countries live, females live longer. Uh, now, based on these two factors, age and sex, one can construct what is known as population pyramid as shown in the slide here. The population pyramid basically looks like a pyramid, a uh, very broad base and population ages, you know, it becomes narrower and narrower basically due to uh, the deaths which occur as people grow older. So much so that there are very few people left at older ages. Uh, uh, here is the uh, eight six pyramid of uh, Pakistan, which shows that there are uh, about a very high proportion of population, about 43%, they are young, they are below age 15, followed by about 53% who are in the reproductive ages, uh, in productive ages, economically productive ages. On the other hand, about 22% of females are there which are, who are in the age group 15 to 49 when they are in the reproductive age group. And there are very few of them, about 4%, a little more than 4%, who are above age 60. Now, pyramids can take different shapes. Either when they are growing very fast, it's on the stage one. When the uh, growth rate declines, then, or especially the death rate, birth rate declines, it takes a different shape. Then when it's stationary, that means population is not increasing. And then eventually when the population is declining, you can note here at the bottom, there are fewer and fewer people being added. Now, this was the, uh, I showed you the age sex pyramids for different uh, populations. Here is a very interesting example of age sex pyramid of Japan. If you look at this age sex pyramid, it can tell you the history of what has happened, how births took place, how deaths took place, if people died due to war. For example, there's a shortage of men here, you know, in, um, in the age group 70 to 80, when they're the people who, uh, when many of them died fighting the war, and you don't see any shortage of females here. On the other hand, then there, is, uh, there was a baby boom immediately after the Second World War, and uh, there you would find there are a lot of additional people here in this age group in the 20s in uh, both males and females. And then you will see that the, the pyramid is narrowing because fewer and fewer babies are being added in Japan. 
Now, uh, coming back to the typical pyramid of a developing country, it, as I mentioned, it looks like this. But uh, you can see here that in this country there is a high birth rate because birth rate, uh, number of babies being added is bigger than the previous because these are the ones who died apparently, the same number were born in each year, but these are the ones, the number is decreasing because of the death. Okay, and in this population, there is also a number of women in reproductive ages. For example, they are from here, age, uh, age 15 to 49. So that means that this population also has potential to reproduce itself because there are too many women in the reproductive age groups. Now this is the age sex pyramid from Bangladesh. Very interestingly, because you can see that at the bottom, because Bangladesh in Bangladesh, fertility or birth rate started declining in the 1990s. And this is, comes from year 2000. And you could see that fewer children were being added after in the 1990s. And, uh, 19, uh, and so you have fewer and fewer children being added. And eventually, I, I can uh, show you the how Bangladesh uh, age sex pyramid is going to be in future. Now, this is a country that is a low birth rate and a low death rate. This is a typical of many European countries because you can see here that their largest category of people were born about 40 years ago. This is the, you see the base here which is moving up and the fewer and fewer children are being born. In this country, the number of people in each age group is about the same. What it means that the uh, birth rate has remained almost constant over years, over the last 30 years or so. This is pyramid is typical of countries in richer part of the world, known as developed countries. And then, of course, there are, uh, uh, you know, if the birth falling sharply, the age six pyramid looks like this. There are fewer and fewer and fewer people every, every five years. In the future, the elderly people will make up the largest section of the population in this country. Because as they grow older, there, are, um, there will be more and more on this side. One thing which you would note here that I had mentioned earlier that the men, uh, women live longer, females live longer than males do in developed countries, and you could see that as they grow older, there are more and more females as compared to in the developed, in the more developing countries like Pakistan. Okay. And then there is a typical age sex pyramid. What it means is it's not natural. It is mainly due to when there are too many people have migrated to that place, especially in the working age group. This, is, uh, this happens in many of the Gulf countries. For example, Kuwait, UAE would have age sex pyramid like this. Uh, uh, okay. Let me go back to the, uh, the age sex pyramid of Japan as it was in 2000. And because the birth rate is declining, people are surviving longer, and that's why this age sex pyramid is becoming more and more distorted, distorted in the sense that it's becoming more straight. And eventually, there are more and more people in older ages, ages than in the young ages as the as Japanese population approaches 2050. Now, this is the age sex pyramid of Pakistan. In 2000, you could see that the base is, is wider, much wider. And as, uh, as birth rate declines, it, it is becoming fewer and fewer children are being added, but it's still the fertility has not declined as much as it declined in, in Bangladesh, the birth rate, and that's why the age sex pyramid of Pakistan currently looks like this. And then as time passes, it will, be, it will become broader and broader. And, and, uh, all, the, all the age groups would look very similar between ages 0 to almost 20. That means as birth rate declines in Pakistan, there would be fewer addition of population at lower ages and while others are going to die and so it looks it will look like this in next uh, eight years and eventually by 2050 when uh, uh, birth rate is expected to decline substantially in Pakistan not substantially in the sense as compared to previously so the pyramid would look like this and then there would be 
lot of people at older ages.